Hey sweet friends, I'm Von Kevitz, Nate Crochet Designer for One of a Kind Makers Who Dare to Be Original and I'm here to show you how to do the basket weave for the Mary pattern which I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do a baby version of it. So um, if you want to grab the pattern, the link is below and in my Etsy shop and also in... Uh, Love crafts, also. So, um, so I'll so I put bo both links into the show descriptions. And I collaborated with um, this beautiful wool yarn is from Sanko Farms, and SankoFarms.com, Sanko Farm, Sanko Farms Yarn .com. The link will be the links will be in her, the show descriptions. She's also has an Etsy shop, so I'll put that link in there also. And this is her number and. It's from the her Lila Sheep. It's a crossbreed, three ply bulky. And if you get yarn from her, um, you will get this Mary pattern for free. And if you already own this Mary pattern through me, um, let her know and she can let me know that I, and you can have another a different pattern of mine for free. So don't worry about the free pattern when you buy her yarn. We, we will hook you up one way or another. So in this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to do this basket weave, this beautiful basket weave in crochet and then I'm going to show you how to do the slit part which is so awesome and it makes your scarf lay so beautifully that you don't have to do a traditional knot like this you you've seen all the pictures and you'll all the pictures are inside um my pattern and you can go on Instagram to see how to wear this scarf beautifully and how this slit is just so genius okay so we're just going to do a baby version so I think the pattern has 21 stitches to do multiples of five for four squares. I'm going to do a baby version and do three multiples of three in four squares. So we're going to do 12 plus one, which makes it 13, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm also using the um, MN hook, nine millimeter. Okay, so we're doing a double crochet, three in. And I should land with 12 double crochets counting that first three chains. And I, you know, I always hold my breath in this first one just to make sure I have it. And once I have it, then I know I'm in good shape. So with I just want to tell you this yarn is so soft and it is so thick and so lush and so warm so warm so if you guys live in the colder areas this is a must all right I'm at my last one and I'm gonna stop right there because I want to show you how to weave in this end or crochet it work work it into it so there's two one two four six eight ten twelve beautiful Okay, so you're at the end, you just started that first yarn over and you pull through and just lift up that tail and then yarn over. So the tail's gonna come up front, yarn over. Normally, um, I would just carry this over and do my other edge and then just kind of crochet right over it and that's the normal way. But we're doing front post stitch and back post stitch. So now it's a little trickier. So are you ready for this? You're going to keep that yarn back there, but we're going to chain two. And the reason why we chain two, normally you chain three when you're doing a double crochet at the end, but chain two because you're coming down to the front post of the one. So that yarn is back there. We're just going to yarn over and stick that in there. I'm going to hold this up. And then you see this yarn right here? I'm just gonna grab this tail and bring it all the way to the front. And then that's my first yarn over and I'm doing a double crochet. There's my second yarn. You know, see how that tail's coming up front? One more time, front. So that yarn is in the front. I'm gonna pull this up, put this yarn, put this tail in the front. See how it lays right there? And this is how you're tucking the tail in and you're crocheting right over pull that up do the second one and now three so now we're going to the back because we're doing multiples of three 
So now we're going to the back. We're going to yarn over, go to the back post, right? Lift it up, and before you yarn over, you're going to grab that tail, tuck it under, and then lift this tail back up, yarn over, and that finishes the double crochet back again, because for this purpose, we're doing multiples of three, so three front, three back. Okay, yarn over. We're still in the back one more time. Oops, I want to grab this tail. If this is a little like too much for you guys and you want to just do your normal way of crocheting the ends, you can, but I just thought I'd give you options so you don't have to see how it hides everything so you don't have to crochet at the end. I, I hate weaving an end, so I try to eliminate as much as possible. So now we have three, three front, three back. We're going back to the front again. So yarn over, pull it from the front. Grab that tail. We're going to tuck it over. We're almost at the end. Front. One more time. Pull that yarn. Grab it to the front. Pull it back. One more time. Alright. So it's three front and now we're back to three back. Yarn over. So now we're going to the back. One. I don't know if I can get that tail in one more time. Maybe, look at, look at that very final one. Just a quick tuck. That's probably gonna get pulled out anyways. Because, yeah, it didn't work. Oh, I think it did. You just probably see it caught it. So, that's two. And so we're on the last one, and this is how it is. So this is at the end with the chains. Just lift that up. Wait, we're going from the back. Pull it up. I think I hooked on something. Try one more time. From the back, pull it up. There we go. One, two, that's a double. Now we're going to chain two. Now we're coming up to the front. So now, see, we're at front. One, two, front again. When you do enough of these basket weaves, you will see how quickly intuitive. The front will go to the front, and then the back will go to the back. So there's the back post. And like I said, if you want this pattern, the link is below. And if you go and buy some yarn from uh, Senko Farms, if you go get this yarn, you can get this pattern for free. And if you already have the pattern, just let us know and you can have another pattern for free. Just want to help out our friendly yarn suppliers. This is like small business supporting other small businesses. Alright, last one and this is at the edge. Oh, that was funny because that's look at how we just tucked that bad boy in. That was the weave in ends. Okay, so it, like I said, in the pattern, you're gonna see certain size, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and f switch it now. So now we're at just, just to show you. Um, so now we're at the part where you're gonna change and cause the basket weave effect. So we're gonna change chain two at the end, and now the front is gonna end up being the back. So we're going to do a back post. See how gorgeous this is. And look at how fast and easy this is when you go to it. Um, so now the back will be the front. All right, and we're doing three. Double crochet the front. We're gonna post, do a front, a back post stitch. See, it's very intuitive and then now we're at the back and we're going to do front post stitch two and the last one is always the chains which you just do normal okay and then again chain two and now we're going to do the back for the back you can see how this is going to start, it's starting to take its shape. You'll see it in this one. 
and then the front we're going to do the front so there's only a few rows that you're going to change and do the opposite of what the front or the back post stitch is and then after that you do the same you know and then it gets very intuitive and then you can just basically do it follow the pattern or make it as long as you want or make it as short as you want but what you want to do is start off with this part where the slit is and the slits the most important because that's where the height of where you want it to to split uh, by your chest or around your collar so depending on so you want to make sure that you don't put the slit too high or put the slit too low so the pattern will tell you exactly where where it is but if you want to change uh, a different type of yarn you can also like change hooks and everything so now we're doing two and two so now I'm gonna I'm going to flip it and switch it. So now, um, instead of, so now I'm going, it's, it's at, we're at the switching part again. So instead of the back, we're going to put the front post in with the back. And then for the back, we're going to put it in the front. And then I think in, after this next batch, I'm going to show you where the slit is just to show you how to do that part okay so this is pretty much it where there's only a few rows where you switch and do the opposite and then go back and you can tell where you're at the switching row if you get lost in the pattern or you get carried away and you all of a sudden don't know where you're at you can tell because in this one, see how there's series of threes, and then you go the opposite. In my little sample, there's series of two, and then you do the opposite. That's how you know very quickly which way. So depending on how you want to make your basket weave, this is this is the <laughs> this is such an awesome stitch to do, and it's so easy and it looks complicated, but it's really easy as you, as you're watching me do it. Very easy. But not only that, it gives it such texture. It's a gorgeous texture. And that's why I chose it for this Mary pattern, not to mention, and then we named it Mary because it's a basket weave and, you know, for baby Jesus. And so um, I thought it was fitting. Um, so we're doing one more. And then the, in the next one, I'm going to show you how to, like, prepare for this slit. So now we're doing, so you see how... Um, we're doing the, so it's two. So in my next row, you're going to, so I'm following the front with the front. And so in my next row, we're going to do, it's the time to do the opposite. But we're only going to stop at a certain point. We're going to stop at the middle because we're going to create this slit. Okay. Like I said, pattern is in the show description below. If you want to check it out. Oh, we're... Did I switch? Oh no, look at my, see how I got carried away? I went from the back, I started out with the front and then I went to the back and I shouldn't have, I need to stay in the front. So you, this is how easy it is when you can make a mistake and how quickly you can correct, course correct and undo. That's what I love about crocheting. And knitting you can always backtrack too. It's just not as friendly or as fast I shouldn't say friendly it's just not as fast because in crochet you can just rip it out so now we're going to come to the slip part and you're going to do the same thing but now we're we're at the changing point so we're going to change so what was front will now be back and what is back will now be front post okay and then now we're at the center because it's three and three, so three and three, three and three. So now we're at the center and we're gonna stop right here. Okay, we're gonna stop right here and we're just gonna, so it's three, three. We're gonna stop right here and we're just gonna do a double crochet and then we're gonna turn and we're gonna act like it's the end. And we're gonna chain two and we're gonna keep in pattern. So basically we're now staying in the back. We're gonna keep in pattern and so we still want to follow our basket weave in pattern one two 
And so now we have two, so now we're going to flip over and switch. So what was back is front. This is our switching row. Look at, see how, look at how fast this is going. And what's front is now back. So you're going to do this. You're going to do this for a couple of rows to get to about this length. And the, the key to this slit is you want to make this slit as long so that you can slip your scarf. So you want to make it about as long as the width of the scarf that you choose to make it. Does that make sense? So that when it comes in, it can just slit right over. And so this is how, this is how it lays. So there's around the neck, and then you're going to do that. So you want this slit for just slightly as wide as this, the, the width of your scarf. Does that make sense? So the scarf is 20, so you want one, two, three, four. So that's four rows, just like this is four squares wide. So that's the key to that slit. So we're doing the back, so I'm going to do one. I'm going to do another set. We're going to turn around two. And this one is keeping with the front because this is the row where we're just following the previous. So I hope that you guys like this basket weave and please share with me in the comment if you guys try, try this basket weave. And if you're not doing it with the Mary pattern, let me know what other ones you're doing. Be sure to tag me on Instagram. I'm most active there. Um, and, uh, also, so I can share with you my stories. I can share your beautiful work with, uh, the Instagram community. And if you're not a part of the Dare to Be Original Facebook group, go ahead and sign up. The link is below and you can share. I'd love for you to share you guys. Um, I'd love for you to share what you've chosen to make with this this basket weave and I love seeing the different yarns too that's that's being used and the different hook sizes and so I love um just to let me know about you guys using the stitch this basket weave is so awesome especially for it this basket weave looks gorgeous on multiple variegated colors it also looks gorgeous on raw natural you know plain white you know what I mean like solid solid is the word I was trying to go for so, I think I'm going to stop here, and what I'm going to do is, um, oh, I don't want to stop here. I want to stop right in there, right? Do I want to stop right in there? I just want to do a quick math here, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four, yeah. I want to stop right in there, and then I'll show you how to pick it up from that moment. Okay, the math will take us right there. So now we're at... Are we at the switching? Yeah. Does that make sense? Hold on. Oh yeah, it does. So we do want to end it right there. If I'm going to stop right here, that makes two. Oh. I think I need one more row. I need one more row. But I'm going to be... Did I lose my place? One, two. Okay. We're going to do one more row. But now we're on the opposite. Because remember, we're going to keep two and two. We're keeping in pattern. And then do the opposite. That's right. So we do want to do this. Opposite. And back. And then what you're going to do is the last double crochet and you're just going to do a yarn over and lift it up. Do I, have my, do I have my mini? Look at this beautiful pouch I got from a friend. My we're going to yarn over and we're just going to pull it right up. So we're going to end it. 
and now we're going to pick up the slip from here. So we're going to, ready? Here's where the magic is. We're going to pick up and do, that was the front, so now we're going to do the back of, we're going to pull the yarn up and we're going to lift this up. We're going to chain one, two, um, is it two? And it's, we're going to chain one, two, oh, it's chain two. We're going to chain one and two. So here, look, I'm just going to pull the arm back, and what I'm going to do is pick that up. I'm going to crochet right over the yarn again, just like what you saw before. And now we're, we're just picking up in pattern. Pull that up, put the tail in, kind of like what you saw at the beginning. Lift that up. We're going to the front now, because pull the tail up front, staying in pattern. Now we're doing the other side. You see that magic there? So easy, right guys? Okay. Yarn over. Wait, wait. Yeah. Two. Now stay in pattern, which is back as back. And, ooh, did I just move that camera? My hand just hit it. Okay, lift that up. Close guys, we're close. These are one of the times where you know the hub calls you and you're like, hold on, <laughs> one more row, one more row, because I can't stop in the middle of trying to weave in an end. Okay, now we're going to the front. Oops, I think get it one more time, one more time. There we go. Beautiful. And I think that's it. I can't get any more. And we're going to keep going. And the next row is, so now we're basically doing the pattern, but we are going to the opposite until we get to that height, to the opposite side of the slit. Okay, so chain two, and now it's time for the back. Or, no, 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 we want to stay in pattern. So we want to keep back as back. For two rows here but in the pattern it's different because the pattern has a few more so these numbers you're doing is just for my little mini demonstration here so back is back is back and front is front no look at I did something wrong I shouldn't have four backs <laughs> I shouldn't have four backs did something wrong here. So this row needs, oh, that's it. Look at, even in the tutorial, come on. All right. Yeah, this was right. Oh, I went back too far. I went back too far. I'm gonna have to do it apart again. Oh, I forgot, you know where the change is? The change is in the middle. That's why I'm confusing myself. Okay. The change is in the middle because that's where we started in the middle for this end. Okay. One more. Get that back weave. And I'm gonna move to the front. Can I get it one more? I think I can. Again, okay. Front. Front. And this is the beginning of my row. That's why I missed the change. All right, so now what was back will now be front. And that looks just a little funny because that was the tail ends. And then what is front will now be back. There we go. Did 
Do you guys have German short hair pointers? Because they are such vocal animals. Liberty, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Liberty, no. Don't get... No. That's enough. That's enough. Don't even start this. Front is front, back is back. No, Liberty, lay down. That's enough. He's the grown up. He'll listen. It's the baby that I. There's like a. This baby Indy that causes my. So I'm just going to snip this end out. Actually, I'm going to do a little tug and make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm just going to snip that. Because it's ugly. See, now nice and clean and gone. And we are at the change. So one, two, we're doing the back. What was front is now back. Oh, what's going on my fingers? And then what was back is now front. All right, I'm going to check in with myself and see just exactly where I am from the other side because what you want to do is get to the point where you're nice and even with this slit. It looks like, oh, two more ways to go. Two more rows. Back is back. And then front. Front. I can't wait to see what you guys create with this basket weave. And I'd love to hear from anybody that, any newbie that, fi let, that finally took on this hard basket weave, or they told themselves how hard it is, but it's so easy as you can see me do here. So easy. Oh, I, you know, I wasn't even, I never once looked at this camera, so I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping you guys were able to see the stitch okay. I hope I wasn't hiding it too low. That would really be a bummer if I had it too low and you couldn't see what I was doing. I'm try to pay attention to that. Um, all right, one, two, and we want to stay in pattern. Is this the one? It is the one. Okay, so here we are. You're looking at the slit, so now this is the part where you're going to attach it. See how beautifully it, it's already lining up? Okay, so this is the row where we're going to make the magic happen. One, two, and it's also the row that, oh, we're keeping in sync. So we're not switching. It's the last row. Right? Yeah. Should I do that right? I just want to make sure I do that right. No. I did not do that right. Back, back, front, front. Yeah, I'm sorry. Front is front. Front is front. Back is back. edge here and instead of turning around now we're going to attach we're going to meet with this and this is same in pattern still still in pattern so that was back is back and now we're at the front front will be in front so we're going to yarn over but it's actually really just the first the last double crochet so but and look at we're gonna hold this up too so I'm going to take that tail end and I'm gonna weave that in so that's the first one 
we're going to keep in front because the pattern is front is front. Hang on, grab that tail. See how we've been weaving and we've been crocheting right over the tail. Now you know why I'm showing you how to crochet right over the tail so you don't have to do all these extra weave-ins later on. And back is back. And wait until you see the, this magic that's going to happen. Back is back. up and now this is the row that you change oh my gosh I'm so happy <laughs> I'm so happy that I, <laughs> I'm decreasing these numbers and it's still working <laughs> I'm so happy that I'm doing this without my pattern in front of me because my pattern is on my laptop in the other room <laughs> So I'm going by memory. I can't tell you how like ecstatic I am that this is just working out. Okay. We are very close to the end of this tutorial, guys. So now you have it attached and you're going to see where we are. We're in the front. Last front. And then... back back look at the crocheting right over the ends hiding all the ends like I said, if you guys don't want to do it this way and you love weaving ends, ends in at the end of your project, then you can skip all this weaving, uh, this end hiding that I'm doing. But if you're like me and you hate it, this is a game changer. <laughs> all right, grab that. If I can get one more, let's see. Can I get one more? I can. Boom. I'm not even going to try to bring it up. We'll just snip that at the end. All right. Now we're sticking in pattern. Going front as front. Back as back. I'm going to do one more row just to show you and see. Is that... Was, did I do that right? No, I did not do that right. Wait. Back as back. Back. Really me. And now we'll go front. Do you guys see how I'm seeing? I'm actually seeing how I know how I'm doing it wrong and right because if you study the stitch, we're doing multiples of two in this pattern, the bigger one. In the Mary pattern, it's three. But for our baby scarf, it's two. And then watch. And then now it's this following suit all the way through for as long as you want your scarf to be. So you can see how I started off in the Mary pattern with the end over here. Like about this long. So it's about two, four, six, I don't know, whatever it is. And then look at all this to go in the back of it. So that's so I, you just continue on with this pattern for as long as you want to make your scarf or you can follow the pattern itself. But if you are just following and you don't get the pattern, you're just following this basket weave this way. Um, front is front, back is back. Let me know what you, um, what you make and, and how long you guys make it for. I'd love to... No, because do you guys like wearing like long scars or I like long scars because I like the ability to fold it several oh. times over to wrap it around my neck. I'm from Laos, which is by the equator. I always tease. I'm, I was born by the equator, so the Lord did not intend me to um, 
be in Pennsylvania where Northeast PA is just sometimes so bitter cold and I'm not made for the cold. My word, Indy, because of this, this tutorial video is going to live on and people are going to shout, people are going to comment to me and go, what is wrong with your dog? <laughs> and I'm going to be like, what are you talking about? And it is because of this wailing that he does in the background. <laughs> For God knows what reason. <laughs> Other than they are very vocal. These German short hair pointers are ridiculously vocal. If you want to know what my dogs look like, go follow me on Instagram and you will find. I Sometimes I share their stories because sometimes they're just so darn cute. All right, so that's it. You just keep doing the same thing over and over again for as long as you need it to do. And this is the basket weave for the Mary pattern. And this is the tutorial for the slit. Like I said, you want to make the slit as wide as your width. And this is the end of the other side. And this is what I do, you do. So you just give it a little tug, make sure it's like stretch out as possible. And then just snip and then boom, beautiful. You're like, where is it? Where is it? There's no ends, it's beautiful. And so the same thing to the other side. Um, you know what? While I'm here, I hate how people like end these weird things and then they don't show you how to end. Let me show you how to... Oh, this is, this is going to be painful. If I cut this, <laughs> I can cut it. You, you see how, how easy I can manipulate those ends. So I'm going to cut. I'll show you how I weave in... Um, how I weave in the end so you not so let's pretend you got all the way to the end of the scarf right and you're all the way at the end of the scarf so you're at this part and you're like where's the ends right let me show you how to weave in this end because this is the only part that I end so we end it with a double crochet and then you're just gonna yarn over pull it straight up and that's and that seals it and this is the only part that I weave in ends whenever I crochet so I will figure out all the different ways to crochet over my ends. And then this will be the only part that I weave in my end is at the very end when I can't crochet anymore to cover for it. And then, um, so there are simple ways. You can stick it in the front and go this way. Some people do it this way and just go back and forth this way and just kind of work it in here in between and I just kind of it fills in the the gap of the first row nicely and then I go all the way to the front stick it in this corner here all right give it a little tug you don't want it to be tight you want it to be nice and loose okay you're gonna come down here you just gotta go where you can hide it Gotta go where you can hide this bad boy, right? Oops, if it went loose, I'm gonna keep it loose. See how it just ends beautifully. And then I'm just gonna tug it in a little bit more. I keep it nice and long. Some people make knots because they get so nervous about, um, and then see where I'm just kind of sticking it in at the bulky part of where it's, um, where it's joining and just kind of stick it in there. Look at, and I'm just gonna pull it all the way. I know I went pretty far. I'm just gonna pull it all the way and then I'm just gonna tug. See, nice and tug. And then there's your little end right here. Ready? Snip, snip, and it's beautiful. And there it is, your little mini make <laughs> of that. And there's your ends and that's how you weave an ends. All right, so guys, let me know what you think of this Mary pattern. Let me know what you think of this uh, basket weave. And let me know what you think of this beautiful lady, Ellen, Ellen, Ellie, as I call her, because we're Instagram friends. And she also, uh, Ellie, always uh, pops in on my Saturday lives with me. And so she's one of my um, uh, people that I chat with on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when I go live and we chat about what's going on and we share and sometimes and hopefully you guys can join us on one of those lives and then we can talk about this beautiful um, Mary pattern 
at or share your beautiful work if you guys um, go and check out her shop on Etsy and all of her links are in the show description below and go say hi to her and let her know that you found her through this video or through me or this YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless guys. Bye. Oh, be sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel and ring, hit the bell so you don't miss a new episode. God bless. Bye.